Thanks so much for stopping by HTSN. I'm meteorologist Kyle Mouts. The first day of July feeling nothing like summer. This slow moving storm system keeping our temperatures a good 10 to 15 degrees below the average high that's in the low to mid 80s this time of year. Through this evening, we will have again a few of those showers and storms at 7 o'clock. 70 degrees where you've had the rain, you'll be a little bit cooler. 68 at 9, and those rain chances will continue to decrease as we lose the heating of the day. That really kind of fuels those showers and storms. 63 degrees tonight will be our overnight low. Those showers and storms mainly before midnight and then mostly cloudy with a spotty shower overnight. And we play that out in your true cast. Starting things off around 9 o'clock this evening, you see the clouds, a couple of showers, thunderstorm activity favoring the southern third of Indiana. And then as we go through the overnight and into your Tuesday morning commute, an isolated shower, that'll be about it. Then once we get that daytime heating kicking in, showers, thunderstorms develop, and they will continue to be fairly slow movers. So some heavy rainfall going to be the main threat from these showers. Also the possibility of some lightning. So you want to keep an eye to the sky as those skies are darkening and still a little bit of an unusual movement to this rain. It continues to be from east to west instead of the traditional west to east movement. So don't let those sneak up on you. Your Tuesday planning forecast, 65 degrees, a few showers, at 8 o'clock will increase the thunderstorm chance by noon and 70. Then we'll make it once again just the mid 70s for your high temperature. 3 o'clock, 75 scattered storms. We'll keep scattered storms right on into the 6 o'clock forecast. High temperatures on Tuesday will make it to around 75 in Bloomington, where I think we'll have best chance for clouds and some showers around Greensburg and Richmond. We'll be stuck in the mid 70s. And again, those showers and storms will be likely. Then on your Wednesday, this pattern begins to change just ever so slightly. Mostly cloudy at 8 o'clock. Then rain chances just 30% at noon and 4 and highs that will, as a result, start to warm a little closer to those seasonal numbers around 80 degrees. Your seven-day planning forecast shows Independence Day, not bad shape, 81 degrees, isolated storm, so could have some rain, but lots of dry time, 83 on Friday, then showers and storms return to the forecast as we go into next weekend.